So today is media day. We're currently driving to the airport to depart and go to media day. So I'm excited and I'm looking forward to it. Now I'm not nervous. I would say I'm more so just excited because I've never done it before. So it's gonna be a lot of crazy questions. I have me uh, red and blue, nice fit. Check out the QAJ, QJ4 sleeve so and I'm rocking Louis Vuitton band got some Christian Louboutin kicks fresh suit made by Alba uh, shout out to Alba I like beyond limbs and um yeah so I'm rocking pretty nice fit what you think today I got my boy Sid with me and I got Prince so Prince plays DB, Sid plays D lineman, so they're gonna talk about the defense, and then obviously I gotta talk about the offense. I guess Sid, uh, a good, I don't know, how long? I, I get about an 8, 8.5. I, I get Prince a 9 for I'm sure. Summer, right? Prince get a 9.5, 9. Prince, about a 9.5 with that. Yeah, 9.5. 9.5 missing up. 0.5 minutes with the shoes. That for one is crazy. Yeah, for sure. I like those shoes. Thank you. Those are cool. Yes, ma'am. How long did it take to put the outfit together? Uh, a couple days. Okay, yeah. right. Did you have any help? Yeah, uh, for sure. Mom well, helped me. Ma I was going to say, yeah. how's mom doing? She's doing really good. I feel like your mom is like the most loved mom in the state of Mississippi. Yeah, right a lot now. of people Everybody say that. loves yeah. her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what does mom see for you this year as far as goals on the football field? You know, much success. I love her so much. I'm so thankful. Hey, mom. but. You know, I love her so much, so yeah, much of sex. Well, Quinn John, we cannot wait to see you tear it up for yes, another season out there for Ole Miss. Can't wait to see you in the fall. Thank you, I appreciate it. That was awesome. You crushed it. Thank you. I had you guys week one last year. Oh, yeah? And as soon as you were on the field, Coach had told us, he was like, we've got this guy named Quinshawn Judkins. Yeah. And as soon as we saw you play, I was like, okay, yeah, all right. <laughs> he's real. He's for real. Yeah, yes, Good to see you again. Good Hope I see you. you in the fall. Thank you. Have a good one. Handsome. How are you? Marty Smith, great to see you, bud. How you doing? Nice How you doing? Well, good to see you. Good to see y'all. First yeah, yeah. media day experience? Yep. Great. Right, how's it going? Pretty great so far. What those shoes? What are those? Uh, these are Christian Louboutins. Okay. What are those? I like those. Uh, these are, um, I think, uh, Boss. Got gotcha. Boss. Nice. I had to think about it for a second. <laughs> I got you. I'm enjoying it so far. It's a lot of wild questions. Not even wild questions, but questions that I've never thought about answering or never thought that I would be asked. But I mean, other than that, that's cool though, it's for sure. It's cool. Would you rather be, have terrible breath or would you rather have terrible body odor? Hmm, I would say breath. Definitely breath. Definitely breath, why? Yeah. Because, I mean, breath you would have to get on someone up close. Body odor, you probably, you can smell it, it like they're over there. You pointing somebody on? No, I'm sorry. No, I'm not pointing. I'm not pointing. No. All right. Just, just making sure it's <laughs> not, no. not an accusation. Here. No, we're all good. What is your biggest fear or phobia? Biggest phobia is like those holes. I think the craziest food to eat is probably like a, a honey bun waffle or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever seen those holes? Yeah. Like, like a lot of holes. Is there a special one right now? Special? No, no special no? one. No. no special one. Yeah. Still recruiting. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh yeah. What is that? Like triphobia or something like that. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I don't like holes. You don't like holes. Yeah. It makes me itch. And they just ask some crazy questions, bro. They ask some questions I didn't even know. Like, yo, yeah. how many people is that? Five. Maybe like ten. Maybe. <laughs> ten people. What is that pressure and expectation now for you heading into year two? Uh, is it, it isn't any pressure or anything, you know. The defenses might get harder, but that just means I have to work a lot harder. A lot of people have said sophomore slumps or this or that, but when you improve your game, you work hard, you do the things that you're supposed to do and just perfect your craft. It's the only way it is to go is up. Ready to showcase it to the world. What are we going to see when you showcase it to the world? Come September, you'll see. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Just got done with media day. I'm really excited to get back to fall camp now. I uh, had fun, but it's time to get back to work. Let's go.
With fall camp on the horizon, some look to Acker Farms to wrap up their summer with a little friendly competition. Uh, me and some buddies on the team, we're gonna do a little fishing, see who can catch the most. We got Jackson, Dart, Walker Howard, and Reese McIntyre out here. Who's gonna catch the least? <sighs> the least is probably Walker Howard, if I had to guess. Reese has been catching a lot out here, so we'll definitely, we'll definitely see who catches the most. So is Jackson. Jackson's a really good fisherman too. You probably want to use a wormer like a craw. So she expert Jackson Dart here. That's right. Probably gonna use a little crawl to add. Can't decide what color to go with. Probably go with a little purple right here. Yeah, we're gonna go with a green worm right here. Been crushing on them lately, so it's a game plan. Caught a six pounder the other day. That's what we're going for. Right. Hey, 1 0. 1 0. 1 0, boy. Oh, I got another one. Dude, you just hit the water. <laughs> oh, it's crazy how that is. They'll say I wouldn't catch anything. Here's the thing about Walker Howard if you never say a word, he won't do any good. But the moment you start saying stuff to him, he starts. Playing good, fishing good, doesn't matter. I think it says a lot of how good of a fisherman he is because of Reese is right next to him. And Reese has a call mine. He's not like this. Usually I usually catch him, but I'm not, so. <laughs> oh, I got a catfish. Guess we won't count it, but it is what it is. Counts as a half. I might be, I might be, might be scared of Jackson. He's kind of bringing up the rear, but he's coming. You have to go push him in the water or something, but dark cannot win. We're gonna go to the secret spot, super secret spot. What, you just drive into a ditch? Man, someone went down that way one time. I don't know who did it, but we're gonna go for a good shape. There's a trail. It was not a trail. I just, I just missed the turn. Alright, Reese, time to go. Huh? Time to go. Time to go. Dart just took the lead. We're never going to hear the end of it. Alright, dude, I'm about to push you in the water. And, and, and I didn't lose. I actually won. No, Walker beat you. New rule the catfish counted for three points. So, therefore, Walker Howard wins the competition. <laughs> what, what, what words do you have to say to the Rebel Nation out there? Ah. Uh, I won. We're all going to win. We're going to win every game. That's right. Let's go, baby. Mm. Uh, we got, right, just the meat, we have grilled chicken and uh, steaks. We have medium, medium rare, and medium well steaks. We started cooking about, i say 4.15. There's 200 or 150 steaks and 150 chicken breasts. He just finished the breast, and this is the last of the, the steaks. And we're gonna go in and feed these boys, and get them a win whenever they decide to start playing again. Pre fall camp team dinner. Um, you know, get that energy before we start things tomorrow. Stay, Dave. <laughs> Ooh, not that one, boy. Let's eat, baby. What are we looking at right here? Man, I think I'm gonna get me some mashed potatoes, a little bit of gravy. Gotta grab me a steak. No, you know who's about to go down. This a video? Yeah. Hey look. You know we got on our plate. I ain't never eat steak before, but I'm gonna try it today. You hear me? Yeah. Hey, what this is? Medium or well done? That's that's medium. That's medium? I'm trying to get big for out here. Yeah, that's how I, that's how I get mine. I got me looking fat, man. I got two chicken there. Not potatoes and gravy. You know I'm finna go get a steak. That's that's done the right way bro, to eat steak. Wasted, uh, bro, What's well going? done. You supposed to have a little, have a little blood in it or no blood? The answer is no blood. A little blood. No. If it's too rare, it's too chewy. It just ain't good to me. The texture is like, you know, it's too raw. I don't know what he's doing. Well done on the steak. I get medium well for this. Medium rare, a little lasagna, mashed potatoes, salad. We're ready to go. Got some green beans, some. Grilled chicken, corn, mashed potatoes, you know. Good fuel before fall camp. Gonna need it. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> All right. <laughs> Too good. You see, I just ate two chicken and a little bit of mashed potato. I'm, I'm working on it. Steak was like that. You need to go get you no cop. Like that. Hey, good. Y'all know what it is, man. Great eats. Great eats. Hey, first day of practice. No one. We live. You feel me? Yeah. Live in the sip, man. Great eats, man. <laughs> <laughs> As the New Look Rebels hit the field for the first time in 2023, one familiar face returned, and he made it his mission to bring the juice. Don't jump cut in here. If you hear I just either jump cut around or jump cut around. Good. Boom, boom. Attack. I ain't clap. You gotta wait till I clap to get you vertical. Go. He's around, he's screaming, and that makes you, like if you're tired, it makes you want to go and get riled up. Lock in, make sure you see it. Because at the end of the day, you got to be extremely comfortable. And I got to help you, and Coach got to help you get there. And we got to help each other. Get the ball, Jackson, do it! Get the ball, Goose, let's go! Get the ball! Get the ball, champ! We cannot walk on the grass. It is a cardinal sin and the football gods will not reward you. It better be a stand by me. If it ain't, come make sure I'm hydrated. All right. If you can't go there, make sure I'm hydrated. Stand by me. Yeah, yeah, you're going to be on the bench with me. Kevin Smith's return marks a family reunion of sorts, joining forces with Lane Kiffin for the third separate time. Uh, I'm probably about 258. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Golly. You need to start drinking those juices. Tell them the recipe. Ask them for the recipe. Ah, uh, yeah. Probably won't get That's my inspiration. If you want it, take it. If not, you good. Whichever, doesn't matter. Duke can go on you. Where is Kevin Smith? That was the nicest I've ever seen you beat anybody. Me? Like you're, like you're coaching Frank Dorn. Uh, 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 you know, if you want to go, go. No, it's not like that. It's extra reps. <laughs> see, I got to be able to do this for 30 days and not see any weight loss and still keep at it. Then it'll you start coming It's up. not about the number on the scale. Yes, sir. It's about you <laughs> and how you do it. You're doing it for you. Ah, I know it! It's not about how good you look to it. It'll be you and So I'll leave it at that. <laughs> good Coach Kiffin, like, top, top five for these people in the world. And hell on in, try. We're going to clean it up. Go in there and watch it. We're going to walk through. Tomorrow, don't do the same thing. It, once you fix it, it's fixed. Okay, but came out with the right attitude from stretch all the way to the end. That's all we could ask. Really positive day. We'll clean it up. We weren't perfect. Yes, Love y'all, boy. Make sure we on time and everything. Yes, sir. Family. What's up, man? How you doing, ball? So, man, how would you say the biggest adjustment from coming from Louisiana to Mississippi is? Um, hanging out with Micah. Biggest adjustment for me, you know, we hang out, we go to dinner every night, um, hanging out all the time. He loved, he came to Louisiana for me actually last week. He came back with me during our little break, so I had a good time hanging out with Mike. Been enjoying it. None of that is true. <laughs> he didn't invite me. He doesn't invite me to anything. <laughs> Who would you say the best offensive tackle in the in the nation, in the whole wide world, might be? These two. Yeah. These two right here. Of course. Here with Jaden Williams, <laughs> the second best tackle in the nation after Micah. <laughs> So this offseason, how do you feel like you improved as a player? Um, you know, I'm talking to the mic a little bit. Can you back it up? Yeah, I got you. Back it up. Um, You're covering your mouth though. You, no. can't, you can't do that. As I hear, you know, I wasn't there. I hear there was a big wedding this offseason that there wasn't an invite to or no card or nothing. How was how was the wedding? You know, I wasn't there. I was not there. How was the wedding? It was great, but I told him to come. He uh. He said, if I didn't get a hand, hand invite to me, he, he's not coming. But yeah, it was awesome. It was probably one of the best days of my life. But yeah, it was a special day. I got an invite on Friday. The wedding was on Saturday. <laughs> I had no time. Any of the la la uh, ladies in your life right now? Um, I have a son, Milo. He's a dog. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. I hear there's a guy on the team named Micah Pettis, and he was pretty good, you know. How do you feel being a second best player on the team behind him? You know, 
Um, I'm kind of salty. Micah is like really good, dude, but it just kind of drives me insane. I can I can see that. I don't like I don't like him sometimes either. Crazy. Not yeah. Not really, kinda. <laughs> I got a couple bruises. You you go ahead. I'll wait for you. Oh, okay. oh someone want to interview me? Well, no, not you. I was going to grab JJ for oh, a podcast. No, but no, I ain't talking to you. Not big enough. Not, not big enough for the <laughs> no, podcast, man. You know, I think I think We're it's time waiting. to wrap it up for the day. They've made me realize my place on this team. I'm just an interviewer, man. Thank you for your time and uh, go Rams. As the season nears, the Rebels take the game field to gauge where the team is at. And this year, Lane Kiffin led associate head coach Derek Nix take the lead inside of the vault. Never thought my wildest dreams, you know, you, you kind of grow up wanting to be a football player and be a pro, but you never think about coaching until that one ends, and so here we are. Hey, Coach. Yes, sir. Congratulations, man. man thank you. you. Thank you. Never take it for granted, man. I'll I'm not. Process, yep, I'm not. Thank you. Guys, we got we got to play this like a game. We got half our guys with knee pads all the way up to their thigh. We got back flaps open. So before we even start our special teams, go get them right. Okay, I should have covered it earlier, but we're not going to do it this way. Let's make sure we get that correct. Everybody got me? Yes, sir. All right, go. The receivers coach said he needed his play call sheet, sunscreen, and a visor. <laughs> should I go get it, or should I send one of the receivers she managers? Send one of the receivers managers to go get it. With every new job, there's an adjustment period. Hey, hey, plus one more. One more. One more. Too late. Can I borrow that in between? I want to make an announcement every time. Hey, it's thud, or we got kickoff or turn up. Or can you talk loud and do it? Sure. Let me know what to say. Sure. So what I'm a little confused on two right here. So we've already got our 20 plays with the ones. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I'm a little screwed up here, so it was 20 reps with the ones all we're doing. Or well, those are gauges. Okay. So you just want to end up really 40 at the end of the day, but it doesn't matter. Like right here, you can't. We, we can do like if there's a three and out with the twos, you just say twos are still up, or you make that a first down right there, and he's like, okay. Hey, even though that wasn't, you tell both sides, hey, we're making this a first down to keep the twos out. So gotcha. you get your numbers back. Okay. Adjustments. That's where games are won and lost. And today, Coach Nix's skill was put to the test. Compete. Let's roll. Compete. Compete. Yeah. Hey, I want that to turn over. That's a turnover. Step up and make a play. You wide. It's open, man. When we kind of screwed up there, like we didn't do three. Yep. Got stuck on the commitment. You just make it up. So like after this kickoff, start with the threes and remind everybody that it's live. Yes, sir. Threes, we are live. Threes, we are live. Yes. Good catch, five four. Woo! Play with some energy. Come on, D. Get off the field. Bounce around. Hey, going for two. Going for two. Going for two. What's up, bro? World, whirlwind, man. Good job, first day. Yep, yeah, appreciate it. Whirlwind. I know I screwed up, Coach, but thank you again, man. This is uh, awesome. Got a lot to learn, but awesome. Awesome opportunity. Coach Kiffin, thank you again from the bottom of my heart. Getting an opportunity to get out here and be a head coach, be out here and learn the ins and outs, learn how to be able to go out here and organize, be able to direct, be able to communicate. Got a lot to learn, guys. Got a lot to learn, but very thankful for the opportunity. All right, last thing, uh, since the uh, offense got in, y'all didn't realize we were playing for gashers. So everybody in the white right now, y'all need to get to the sideline right now, okay? I'll just play. I'm gonna bring Coach Nix up here in a little bit, and just so you guys understand what we did was, you know, 24 hours ago, um, he became the head coach, you know, for a 24 hour period. That was really done give him an opportunity to see what it's like to learn because you can't tell you have experience like you say with the quarterback like you can't tell he has experience going in there all right it's the only way to get experience well i'm gonna tell you um at three o'clock in the morning i had to remind myself now hey this is just a scrimmage now you know i couldn't sleep got in the staff meeting room and had what i wanted to say but voice crackling because uh probably because these are my peers i remember my dad telling me a long time ago you know be very grateful for what you have because this is really 
not a good, this has not been a good profession at all for minorities. There's more Tony Dungy's, there's more Lovey Smith's, there's more Mike Tomlin's that never get the, that never get the opportunity. Only way you overcome it, you gotta have like guys like Lane Kiffin to give that guys opportunities. Uh, you know, it's not a true preseason game, but this is the closest thing we can do. And you see it happening in the, in the NFL right now and guys getting opportunities to kind of showcase just other skill set, other assets that they bring to the table. And I think as time go on, I think the door will continue to open up wider and wider. And what I've kind of told myself, you know, I would love to be able to get to the highest level and be able to do that, but it's not a deal breaker. You know, control the controllables, you know, the task you're, you're given, do it to the best of your ability and, you know, let the other things fall oh, in place. Oh gosh, pretty girl. I love that. Yep. I'm on camera. He's from I'm California. From, dude, I'm from the great state of Utah. <laughs> That's what not to do. Oh, in the tree. That's Jackson North for you. No green beans. We're not doing that. We came in with the green beans. The best state in America. We see it. See it? See it. See how it says Utah? Hart has caught another tree. <laughs> Look at him. He's down bad. Oh, Reese has <laughs> caught a tree. My mom always taught me to eat my greens. You got to make sure 10 eats his greens. Dart called another tree. I think that makes four fish, five trees. Corn doesn't even grow in Utah. Yes, it does. No, it's all alfalfa. No greens. That's why I'm tall and he's short.